looking at our beautiful garden, don't think that it doesn't come at a cost. We've got to be so vigilant protecting these plants that are constantly under duress. Now, we know how far-reaching and how long-lasting the damaging effects of chemical pesticides can be, so it's vital that we find a healthy, balanced way of protecting our garden that doesn't harm the environment around us. We are talking organic pesticides, and Billy's going to help us cook up a batch right now. When it comes to your own garden at home, besides the fact that it's just nice to spend time in your own garden, you also don't want to have your hard work go down the drain because of little pests that's eating away at your plants. So today, Ben Getz from Urban Harvest is going to show us how to make an organic pesticide that can only benefit your garden in a positive way. Ben, nice to see you, man. Nice to see you too. So you brought some goodies that you say is going to keep the pests at bay. Absolutely. I've actually got some chilies here and some tansy, which we just harvested. As well as that, we've also got some wild garlic and wilde else, or wild wormwood, over there. And these are all plants that are easy to grow in your own garden. And once they're established, they really are established and easy to harvest regularly to make your pesticide. Mm. And if I'm not mistaken, all of these plants, besides the chilies, got a quite a, a potent smell. Definitely. Obviously, the wild garlic has that garlicky smell. Uh, chilies have their own potency, which is obvious. And then with the tansy and the wild wormwood, they both contain high concentrations of pyrethrums, which is a chemical you'd find in normal uh, store-bought pesticides, but here we can grow it for free. So how do we go about putting this little concoction of ours together? All right, very easy. We really just need to chop all of the ingredients into a bucket and then uh, we literally pour water into the bucket, let it rot over a few days and then use it. So with the wild garlic, we just give it a little chop over here, chop it in there. And then also with the tansy, just, you know, the more the merrier, so don't be shy, just chop it up. Uh, chilies, obviously, if you're sensitive, in fact, everyone's sensitive, wearing gloves is not a bad idea, and uh, don't get it in your eye. <laughs> Just chop it up in here, lots of that, as much as you'd like. And then we've also got the wilde else, the wild wormwood. Chop that in, and you can already smell that aroma. It's really, sure. really strong. Um, and only it will only get stronger as the days progress. So how long would you leave it in the bucket with the water? Um, in summer, seven days winter up to 10 days just a little bit longer because it's cooler the heat helps it to break down so ben what kind of pests do we want to keep away with this pesticide specifically basically we'd obviously want to keep away as many pests as possible this will be really effective um, against the white cabbage moth which lays caterpillars which then hatch and are quite hungry on the cabbage broccoli cauliflower the brassica family it will help against aphids spider mites basically most of the pests you'd have in the garden and how often would you have to apply this to your plants well firstly we don't use this as a preventative measure we'd only use it if we notice that there's a problem in the garden once there is a problem probably want to use it every two or three days reapply because it's organic and homemade it doesn't have the same sticking ability uh, as a store-bought pesticide but you can add and probably should add a small amount of oil or even dishwashing liquid just to help it stick to the plants a little bit longer and then as i say reapply every few days until the problem has gone and when you've got the perfect concoction, you obviously drain the water and put it into whatever spray device you have at home. Uh, draining it's a good idea, or rather filtering it, because depending on the spray gun, if there's lit little bits of leaf, it will get stuck in the gun. So it's nice to put it through quite a fine mesh filter um, if you want to do it properly. Great, Ben, thanks so much. And there you have the perfect way to keep the bugs away organically.